Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me MJ. Today we're going to be having a look at two different platforms. One is Onshape and the other is Fusion 360. We're going to just have a look and compare the workflows and then you can decide which one you like more. Let's get into it. We're going to start off in Onshape and then later we'll move over to Fusion and see how it compares. So this is going to be done with one sketch. I'm going to click Sketch, click on the front plane and just push N to view normal to the front plane. And we're going to use a center point arc. So in your drop down here you'll see you have a couple of different options for an arc. We're going to go with center point arc and it's going to be 90 degrees. So I'll just push D now so I can dimension this. It's going to be 22 millimeters. Now we're going to select the line tool. So you can either click up there or push the L key. And we're going to close this profile up. Let's zoom in a little bit. We're going to use our center point arc again. This time at the top over here. And we're going to go right around with it. I want to dimension it. So I've just pushed D again, or you can click up there. This is going to be two millimeters. And then again, L for line tool, just to close this up. So that is our first sketch. So we've got a two millimeter uh, semicircle there and 22 millimeter radius over there. So finished sketch. We're going to do a couple of revolves now and then some pattern tools. So I'm going to click on the revolve tool. I'll select our full circle and the revolve axis will be the Z axis. So we can see we've got a semicircle there and it's something that we can uh, pattern or mirror just now to get the full view. We're going to use the revolve tool again. I'm just going to turn our sketch back on over there. I'm going to select this and then we're going to select this and the revolve axis will be the Z axis once again. So this is gonna be a remove. So there we've got it removed nicely. What I'm gonna do now is pattern this. So we'll go into our pattern tool. It'll be a curve pattern. We've got a couple of options, linear, circular, and curve. This is gonna be curve. So I'm gonna pattern a face. It's gonna be that face, the path, will be the path of our sketch. So if your sketch is off and you're not seeing this, make sure your sketch is on. Uh, the instant count will be seven. And there we've got our first uh, pattern. Now we're gonna just repeat this. This one will be doing six, 12, 18, 24, 26, and 28. So I'm gonna speed the video up so you don't have to watch through all of that. I'll show you the first one and then you can take it from there. So again, we'll go to pattern tool, this time circular pattern. We'll go to face pattern and we'll select this face. The axis will be our Z axis and the instance will be six. And there we go. Now I'm gonna just fast forward through the rest. So there we've got our golf ball half. What we're gonna do now is just use our mirror tool, select mirror, and the part to mirror will be our golf ball, and the mirror plane will be this underside of the golf ball. Okay, just wanna have a better look at this. So I'm gonna hide the planes, as well as the sketch, and then we can just change the appearance here. So we can go edit material, just gonna go into the mixer, and give it a bit of a white, a white color. So there we go, we've got that white. And there's our golf ball. Let's move over to Fusion and see how it goes in there. We go down to Fusion 360. So again, we start off with creating a sketch. We select the plane we want, and it automatically orients you to the front view, not like in Onshape where you have to press N to go normal to. 
I'm going to go to create over here and this is where we find our arc tool go center point arc and this is going to be 22 here we can immediately put the measurement in and we've got a 22 millimeter uh, arc over there I'm going to go L for line tool or you can select it up there very similar to on shape here when I drew the line on shape completes one line and then deselects and you have to click again for the second one so you don't do multiple lines at once but either way it's not very difficult we we'll select our center point arc again and this is two millimeters and it's arcing all the way to the top push l for line tool and back down to there finish sketch now just like an on shape we've got our same single sketch that we're going to be uh, doing our revolves on so i'm going to go revolve select that profile and the axis will be our z axis over there so it looks very similar to on shape i prefer the the rendering in this in your workspace um, feels a bit uh, a bit more solid a bit better but on shape is still a very powerful tool so the next we're going to go revolve i'm going to drop down here and turn my sketch back on just orient to the front plane again and we're going to select these profiles axis will be here and automatically it decides on a cut operation in on shape we have the option of remove add new so this one automatically chose a cut operation for us which is what we want so there we've got our cut operation we're going to select our pattern tool so i'll go create pattern and circular pattern i'm going to change the object type from bodies to features and the feature is going to be our little indentation over there the axis will be this axis over here and this is going to be seven and I'm going to change this to partial and 90 degrees so then it's all running along the side over there okay so let's cut it up you can see that's quite a bit different to how we did it in on shape but it still gets the job done I like an on shape I'm going to pattern one of these and then you can do the rest by yourself as I fast forward through there we're going to go create pattern circular pattern and this time we're going to have a face I'm going to select this face and the axis will be our z axis so we'll start off with six and then we'll take it from there so there we've patterned our golf ball up to the point where we're going to do a mirror so I'm going to go create and mirror it's the last piece we're going to do and the mirror plane we'll select as our bottom over there and it's a join operation you could have a new body but we're going join so in our bodies we've got one body over there I'm going to turn off our sketch and then like in on shape I'm going to push A and change our appearance to something white you'll see we've got a white plastic there just drop it on the body and there we put our golf ball so it's a pretty similar uh, workflow I do think that the fusion workflow is a bit easier to use but then again I do use fusion a lot more than on shape uh, so I am a bit biased but anyway I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please uh, like and subscribe leave a comment down in the comment section tell me what you'd like to see next and maybe if you have any questions around this design. Till next time, bye.